So this is my post fight review for Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Usyk came out firing the first uh, round. Very aggressive. He wasn't with the waiting around. I had uh, the fight on my scorecard. I had a 113-115. I had Usi win the first round. Uh, Fury won the second round. And then uh, Usi won the third round. That's how I basically started. But then on out, man, uh, it got pretty tricky. And then around the uh, sixth, seventh, eighth round, Usi was hurting uh, Fury. He turned it up because he was down two rounds. Around the fifth round, he was down two rounds because Fury took two straight rounds, two or three straight rounds. And Usyk, man, he was being aggressive. He was letting every, he was letting everybody in the crowd know, I'm finna walk Fury down. He took his best shots. Fury was throwing some hard shots. Fury thought he was weak to the body. Usyk let him know he was not weak to the body. You will not be able to hurt me. I'm stronger than you ever thought I was. Uh, man. It was just a lot going on in this fight to where Usyk showed Fury that he's at a different level. He's not what uh, everybody thinks he is. He did a lot in this fight. He showed Fury that he's he's a lot stronger than he thought he was. Usyk did an excellent job in this fight. He's a lot stronger than Fury thought he was. He proved a lot to a lot of people in the crowd today. I'm very shocked by what I seen. Very shocked. Because the way he fought that fight, he didn't really try to uh, box with him. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe and made it a slug match. And you would think in uh, Usyk's case, instead of trying to make it a slug match, that he would actually try to box with him and move around. But Fury was moving lateral, doing a lot of movement turning and Fury just couldn't Fury just couldn't he couldn't do enough Usyk was just at a whole nother level he's done too much now he's at a different place he's, ch he's changing a lot right now especially in the, bo in the boxing game the way he just came out and fought Fury people didn't expect him to kind of walk him down they expected him to box and get a knockdown but not to walk him down the way he just did the way he just walked Fury down is surprising. It's very surprising. He definitely surprised me the way he just walked down and uh, competed with Fury. Fury was letting his hands go throughout the fight very well um, up until the point where he started to get caught a lot. I don't feel like the showboating played a part. I feel like him not being able to defend himself when it came to that right hand played a part. He was being aggressive. Man, this was a very good fight. I'm talking about an amazing fight. It got it got it got everybody by surprise right now. Like it's it's shocking because the way the way that Fury was going to the body and the way that he was throwing the hooks, you would think that okay, uh Usyk won't be able to handle it. But when uh Fury tried to make it seem that Usyk couldn't handle his shots and everything else. Then that's when um, Usyk started to get motivated, and it became a different fight. A whole different fight. A lot of people not really expecting uh, a guy like Usyk to go out there and walk Fury down, but he did. And the way he did it kind of just changes everything. It's not what people expected. And he, hurt, he had Fury hurt bad, man. We, I think it was around the seventh, eighth round. He hurt. He had Fury hurt very bad in that fight. I thought he was gonna be able to get a knockdown because um, Fury is around. He was leaning on the ropes. Out of it. I mean, he he was so exposed. He wasn't really awake. He didn't know where he was at for a while. And I feel like when um, Usyk hit him again, he kind of like knocked him out of it and kind of woke him up because. The first couple of times he was he wasn't really awake. He was out. His his eyes were closed. When he was on the ropes, his eyes were closed. They they were not open like you would think. He was out of it. 
And that's when I knew then. I was like, wow, Fury's, uh, he's going to be in trouble if he can't bounce back in this fight. He was not able to bounce back in this fight. Once he took those shots from Usyk, it was, it was kind of over from that point as far as uh, him trying to bounce back and do anything. Usyk did an excellent job in this fight, man. He caught everybody by surprise. Now nobody can really doubt what Usyk brings to the table. Nobody. A lot of people want to doubt Usyk. Nobody can doubt what he brings to the table now. Nobody. That was an amazing performance by him. That was one of the best performances you'll find in Boston. Ever. That's one of the best performances you'll ever find. And the way he went in and kind of just dominated, it shows. The way he dominated, man, it shows a lot. People thought that Fury was going to kind of dominate the way he was. The way that Usyk dominated, a lot of people thought that Fury was going to dominate that way. He couldn't pull it off, man. It got tough. Us Usyk is no joke. He is no joke, man. But, uh... Fury, man, he couldn't really he couldn't really pull things together at the end. That that's what kind of surprised me as far as uh him not turning it up. I felt like Usyk kind of had him scared. Not as far as well, he actually did have him scared. I can't really say that he he did have him scared to do certain things. So that's what kind of shocked me. He definitely had him scared to do certain things. So yeah, I was shocked about that. I was definitely shocked about that. I can't lie about that. The way he, the way he couldn't press forward, and everything like that. Yeah, he had Usyk had Usyk had him scared. That that surprised me. And and Fury's a guy. He doesn't really get shook like that. He doesn't really get surprised or shook like that. So that kind of that kind of changed a lot of things too. Usa did an excellent job in this fight, though. Fury couldn't handle him, man. It's just simple as that. He could he could not handle what Usa was bringing to the table. He dominated all the way around throughout the fight. He dominated the whole fight. Fury Fury said he. Fury felt like he got robbed in the fight. I can't really agree with that. I don't feel like he got robbed. Uh, I feel like Usyk basically gave him everything that uh, he couldn't handle. And that was most of, mostly the problem. But as far as him feeling like he got robbed in the fight, uh, I can't agree with that. I definitely don't, don't feel like he got robbed in the fight. From the way I had a score, he he let the he let the fight go. To be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised he actually lasted in the fight because I thought he got knocked out on his feet. Really, they didn't count it. A lot of people thought he did count. They did count it, but they didn't really count him getting knocked out on his feet. So that mostly uh, surprised me more than anything that. That didn't get called out. But other than that, um, it was an excellent fight, man. Fury Fury was close throughout the fight, but he got dominated. Like, let's not get let's not get it twisted. I hear a lot of people say it's a great fight. It was a great fight. I'm finna go watch it again soon. Because I missed a couple of parts. You know, there was a lot of action in that fight. But he definitely got dominated. Let let's not try to uh sugarcoat it, man. Usa Usa came down from cruiserweight. And he and he's dominated these heavyweights. And I told people styles make fights. Certain things happen. Uh, it's all about I don't know, man. You know, it it happens like that. Certain styles just work better for others. But if Fury, man, if he wants to have a rematch, 
He has to fight a lot better. He he definitely uh has to fight a lot better than what he just fought. Because uh Usyk, man, he dominated. He dominated. No question. It's not even a it's not even a <laughs> that's not even a thought. He just dominated this fight. Easy. And did an amazing job too. The way the way the styles kind of clashed in this fight. You know, it it makes for uh, a good sequel, but gotta be realistic, man. That was definitely some uh, a surprise to a lot of people. We didn't expect uh, that kind of domination to happen in this fight. Like, let's let's get that understood. Definitely didn't expect uh, Usyk to go out there and walk him down. He walked him down, man. Had had Tyson Fury very worried. He had him very worried. And the way Usyk fought, it surprised a lot of people. People didn't expect Usyk to go out there and walk him down the way he did. The way he walked Tyson Fury down was amazing. I mean, amazing. That was an awesome fight. The power he was displaying, he busted his nose open with the left hand. I mean, when he busted his nose open with the left hand, I just knew right then. I said, okay, this is a different kind of fight. Once he did that, I, I knew Fury's not going to be able to do nothing with him. Because with, when uh, Usyk threw the left hand, he was setting it up the whole the whole fight. Early on, when, when uh, Fury was having success, Usyk was kind of letting him get confident. And when he got confident, Fury ran to the left hand. Boom! And as soon as he ran to the left hand, his nose just started running. And that's where Fury started looking around like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? His head was shut. He was shaking his head, rubbing his nose, rubbing his nose. And, man, that was that was it. It got crazy. And it was wild after that, man. Congratulations to uh, Uzi Santa Uzi.